is yeah. starting, okay? We need to issue radios. We just received a call from our Sacramento Regional Fire Dispatch that there's been an aircraft crash at the Sacramento International Airport. Not here, not here. What's your name? 21-year-old female. We know there are about 50 patients that will be coming to UC Davis Medical Center. You feeling short of breath? Her vitals are stable. All 80 attendings to the MC, I huddle in the radio room now. We really wanted to be able to test our systems and processes and ability of our staff to work together to be able to care for a large number of patients at one time. All right, I got Echo 6 coming. The purpose is really to, for us to stress our system. You know, as uh, the level one trauma center in um, Sacramento and the referral hospital for um, a large part of Northern California, it was really incumbent on us to be able to manage a surge of patients, you know, if and when they arrive. And so the only way we can get better at it is to practice it. This isn't an everyday event. He's got a deep laceration to the forehead. He's got 80 over pelt. Dr. Shetty wanted to start mass transfusion on him. The exercise really puts a stress on the way that we work every day. Much of our disaster processes are us being able to just amplify our daily processes. So, you know, if we can test it in a disaster scenario, ideally it helps us become more efficient even in our day-to-day -day work, which ultimately has an impact on patient care as well. When the plane crashed, I was feeling very overwhelmed. And then you said you're having contractions as well? Yes. About how often? Five to ten minutes. The simulated part that we did in person was um, around 50 plus um, simulated patients that had a combination of um, polytrauma, uh, blunt trauma, penetrating trauma, as well as burn injuries um, that we had to then take care of here in the emergency department. I'm really scared, you guys. It's okay, you're gonna be fine. We are just doing our best to be able to treat everybody who comes to us, regardless of their state of illness and regardless of the situation that brought them for us in the most efficient and compassionate manner possible.